People of tomorrow, let me tell you a story that reveals the secret behind the magical key. In a times where engines rolled and creativity and joy was always celebrated in the midst of all this misery, there was one man, an intelligent inventor with only one dream, releasing the world from all its misery. When the surface was wild and dangerous, when you could hear the sound of engines at all our bones, when the wind howls and lightning ignites the sky, in the safety of this key, we were free. And a young man came up with the idea of pure art by building an organization assembled in a work of art to protect his desire for engines he created the magical key that would only be found with the best of cars and machines and thus we must be willing to use our gift wisely. I know this train what has been built and Motorsport Kenya was the key to this building. Motorsport. Some say it is an expensive hobby and a risky way to have fun. Many people fear engines and motorsport came in to make it engine friendly. You all know that engines have risks and risks have outcomes and outcomes bring out the real you. You'll be left surprised and breathless with the unique car designs. Ever since the beginning it has made countless advancements making it grow bigger and bigger day after the other. It is a luxury of cars from all over the continent. In spite of time of manufacture, where manufactured, the color and everything. My name is uh, Duncan. I'm a car lover and uh, motorsport uh, lover as well. Uh, what I can say is that uh, motorsport in Kenya has uh, really grown. Uh, from back in the days when we had uh, Ian Duncan, uh, the likes of Patrick Njiru. Uh, right now we have uh, very many locals uh, in the scene. You'll be left surprised and breathless with the unique car designs. It is a luxury of cars from Mitsubishi, Subaru and the great Nissan GTR. And you also have very many private people with uh, sports cars. Um, I think also it's, it's uh, become affordable now to own. Uh, basically in Kenya we have two types of uh, motorsport. We have the official one which uh, is run by the Kenya National Motorsport uh, Association. And then we have the other one which is uh, unofficial. Now people come into clubs, they join together and they run an event. This has made people with different car tastes have a place to be. We have covered some of the cars that are known as motorized vehicles and got to know that motorsport is a rare sporting activity in Kenya than European countries. Uh, the difference between the two is basically the safety involved because uh, the national motorsport events are normally uh, safety enhanced. You have roll cages and all that. It's quite an expensive uh, motorsport. And the other one is just uh, people who basically love cars and they want to enjoy some adrenaline. Um, and those are the events that normally happen like Masinga TT, uh, there are some events in Naivasha, some events in uh, Kasarani, uh, such kind of uh, events. In the keen interest of Kenya, motorsporting is not done to earn money, but being done as a hobby. Not like the European countries where motorsport enacts ability in some of its citizens. In addition to it, we have spoken to some of the people who are interested. Greatly in motorsporting, we have greatly noted that in the Kenyan Republic, motorsporting is not given keen interest. Uh, we've seen a growth of uh, unregulated uh, motorsport events in Kenya. Um, uh, safety being a concern. So, uh, but uh, it's a good sign that uh, uh, the sport is also growing. So we hope to see more uh, people with different cars, uh, different techniques, uh, technologies coming on board. And also the most important thing is that now the government is trying to bring back the, what we used to call the safari rally. Uh, with uh, this year hosting the candidate event. So, which is uh, very good, uh, which uh, means the country will uh, become a focus. 
in the WRC uh, series of events. Motorsport is not all about pink cars and expensive cars, but also brought up a foundation of Safari Rally cars, which has managed to bring many people together. Safari Rally has been promoted by various events such as Classic Rally, Impreza WRC, KCB Safari, African Safari, and the biggest of all, Rally Championship. From the Safari Rally, we managed to come up with great people in the track such as Carl Tundo, Baldiv Shaga, Sin Jess Japreti, and the best Ian Duncan and his co-driver, Andrew Diog. Safari Rally, on the other hand, has made Kenya become renowned being part of tourist attraction. Since tourists come and take place in the competitions, and in turn earn in the country foreign currency. Safari Rally has also done a major part in helping the needy through donations that in turn has helped those in need. Filling the spinning wheels, no traction, no brakes, no brakes, no stop, ease of the gas, grab the steering wheel, being composed, visualize and go. Take off at a speed that only you can handle, because life is made of many insignificant moments. But only one moment comes along to define every moment thereafter. Such moments are a test of strength and deep courage, and with courage, we can move further together. In motorsport, we are meant to only worship time and speed, courage and self-drive is your speedometer. Once in motorsport, always in motorsports, only the wisest of men can be able to understand the misery of the 99 gold coins, use them to make a million dollar fortune, and not fight to make it a hundred as expected it to be.